వెల్కమ్ టు ఇంగ్లీష్ వీడియో క్లాసెస్ భద్రాద్రి కొత్తగూడెం డిస్టిక్ట్ హలో స్టూడెంట్స్ హౌ ఆర్ యూ ఆల్ హోప్ యు ఆర్ ఎంజాయింగ్ కోవిడ్ హాలిడేస్ అండ్ బై ద సేమ్ టైమ్ యు ఆర్ వాచింగ్ ఆన్లైన్ క్లాసెస్ అండ్ లర్నింగ్ వెరీ ఎంతూజియాస్టికలీ వెరీ గుడ్ స్టూడెంట్స్ టుడే విల్ లర్న్ టెన్త్ క్లాస్ ఇంగ్లీష్ లెసన్ that is about discourses discourse means written or spoken form it means you can express your ideas either in written form or in spoken form okay today we we'll learn 10th class english lesson minor discourse poster I hope you have learnt discourses in 9th class. There are two types of discourses, major discourses and minor discourses. So today we will learn poster, it is also one of the minor discourse. Hope you are very interestingly waiting for to learn the poster what is a poster it is an advertisement it gives information it is a means of communication it is very attractive with colorful pictures figures and slogans it should be in brevity language okay students what is the poster for it is for announcements celebrations competitions inaugurations awareness programs and public instructions etc how to prepare a poster it should be clear and interesting with basic points it gives information with complete information and the poster should be with very effective slogans also what to be in a poster students there are some basic points that every student should follow in prepare, preparing a poster name of the organization second one the caption third one slogans and suitable pictures and who issued the poster and details of the question or the poster here you have to make clearly the concept of the poster that is possible when you read the question thoroughly these are the points we have to follow and they these are should be in a poster hope you are reading this clipping here children there is a format format means that is called layout it is called layout there are some general rules also for this first of all we have to understand what type of preparations we have to follow while preparing a poster you have to leave a finger space on four sides of the answer sheet it means you are preparing a poster in a separate margin it should be very colorful and somewhat thick then we can understood the differentiation between the general margin and the poster 
margin this is called layout and see children in this you have to observe the poster format see how is it name of the organization in the beginning and it should be in capitals and next the caption caption and next quotation it means quotation means slogans and pictures and next details you can change somewhat the pattern in the middle of the poster depends on the question you have to follow the question very carefully and you can change the medium level of poster making that is in the middle part of the middle part of the poster and at the end of the poster you have to compulsorily write the contact details with phone numbers or something else which are given to be answered by the students observe the poster format children it should be clear and you have to use different styles of writing those are called font capital letters small letters and lucid writing by the by students you can use crayons also but don't fill the whole poster with the color it may not be attractive use colors for pictures margins and special dates like that you have to add the details like that time date venue guest of honor and awards if they were given in the question or the timings these should be in different colors also use colors for the titles and the title boxes like that but don't fill the whole paper with color it may not be effective to watch and it will be very confusing it why because it is a means of communication and it may not be attractive to read and it may not be effective also students hope you understood this now shall we prepare a poster i think you are waiting for a question very good students i think you are expecting the question from shailaja teacher yes uh read the question children imagine you are the secretary of your school club and prepare a poster on preventive measures of covid you have to read once again again and again the question children with symptoms and the covid hospital address clearly mentioned in the question what are to be in the poster that is very important why because you are giving some information to the people those who are reading this poster and what is the use of this poster there should be some use and that it should be useful to the society so that's why you should write and prepare the co- the poster very clearly see children i myself prepared a poster i hope you can prepare very clearly and very effectively colorfully but see for time being see this one you can zoom it and watch it i prepared like that you can draw many pictures observe that one it should be very clear on seeing it at first sight it should be very effective impressive also then we can understand what are the things are going to be at going to be informed and you have to see children what, what are the contact details given that should be you have to think while preparing the poster what address we have to give on contact details oh 
we have to think for a while this is a disease so covid means they have to go to hospital so that hospitals are different from ordinary hospitals you have to think and write the names of the village or the town and you have to give the contact detail number also and nowadays you are all aware of all the symptoms of covid disease and you have to write at least 3 or 4 and slogan slogan see children slogan wear masks and save lives hope you understood and hoping that you can prepare a nice and colorful very informative poster from you students okay how is that poster children okay nice you have to you have to follow all the things what are to be in the poster once again we'll revise it first of all caption and name of the organization and the slogan slogan should be in brevity and pictures next okay and slogans okay and the details details means that those should be very effective and and very clear without any confusion and pictures okay and you read the before completing this poster you have to go through the question once again then you can understand the problem you are facing or you can understand that if you are missing anything you can understand that uh, oh i missed this one then for that uh, children you have to follow the question very clearly you read the question once or twice and then you can come okay children for that all those things okay see you children come okay and read this one okay children bye